So she buried poor little Baptist of wheat shaped like a square right under that old tree. And the next year when she came back, guess what she found? Four little batches of wheat shaped like a square. Yeah. So what would happen if I just spread the wheat out more evenly? So that year she spread the wheat out more evenly and instead of getting clumps of wheat, she got a nice little patch of wheat yeah. evenly spread apart right under that same old tree. Well, every year you kind of would think of something new to do with the wheat. She decided one year she was going to move her little secret experiment down to the river. And she found that when she put those seeds in that dirt, that dark, moist dirt by the river, they grew even taller. And also found out that when she used her best seed, she got her best crops. Hannah did this experiment over and over again. It was her secret. And she did it over and over again all her life. One day, Hannah was 35 years old. And they made her an elder in the clan. They said they needed her for her wisdom and her guidance. 35 year old now, she had to give that. Hannah thought. Maybe I'll share my secret with the group. She rehearsed her little speech over and over again. And when the time came, she went before those great scientists and engineers and contractors, those people that have done extraordinary works, and she began to share her plan. She told them about the first handful of grain she buried in the ground and what happened after that. She told them about all the other experiments she did with the handful of grain buried in the ground. And then she took them to a little patch. A little patch she had planted. It was about five feet by five feet, but it was more grain in one place than those hunter gatherers had ever seen.
But all of a sudden, they saw all the ladies coming up. They might have a, a good idea. Three or four months after they buried that wheat, they looked out in the valley.
like boundaries, how to plant seeds like biblical instruction, how to plant seeds like parental guidance, how to plant seeds like positive or positive peer group. When you learn how to plant seeds, you get a harvest. Many martyrs, I'm glad I'm to not talk about anybody at Campbell Chapel, just those martyrs. Many modern Christians are hunter gatherers when it comes to their careers and their employment. They're subject to the forces of the marketplace. But when they learn how to plant seeds, seeds like resume building, skill development, networking, when they plant the right seeds, it really doesn't matter what's happening in the economy.
Seeds love to grow. You put a seed off on the sidewalk and it'll try to find a way to grow. Cover the seed with asphalt. If there's a crack in the asphalt, that seed's coming up. We want to plant seeds that are going to come through the asphalt in the next few weeks and months. Happy to have with us today, Mrs. Joanne Taylor.